What's going on everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. Hopefully you guys are feeling pretty good today I'm feeling pretty good myself. But yeah, I'm here for part two of the bold predictions that I have for this upcoming season. I posted a video yesterday, you know, talking about a few different bold predictions that I have for the team. And I'm going to continue with that. If you haven't seen that first video, definitely check out part one. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dive into this. Definitely like this video if you're a true Bulls fan. Definitely subscribe to this page. And yeah, so what are the bold predictions that I have for this upcoming season? And once again, I want to reiterate, you know, bold. So it's a good chance it won't happen. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mention these anyway. So the first bold prediction I have is toy craig yeah well, what about toy craig do i have you know toy craig he is going to lose his role on the team and he's going to lose a lot of minutes i feel like throughout the season you know the key objective is to develop the young guys you know we're <clears throat> we're not so focused on trying to win as much even though the team wants to win but overall as an organization and so maybe they're putting in billy's ear yeah you know, we got to play a lot of these young guys. Got to make sure players like Buzelis, players like Julian Phillips, Dalen Terry gets minutes. And so where does that leave Torrey Craig? You know, while I do feel like Torrey Craig is going to start off the season, you know, playing minutes behind Patrick Williams and maybe even some backup center minutes, you never know. I feel like his role is going to continue to dwindle. It's going to continue to dwindle to the point that maybe when we get to all-star break, he might be traded. But, yeah, I just don't see him, you know, I feel like he's definitely well and good enough to have minutes on his team. And he's probably, you know, a better player than Buzelis and Phyllis right now at this point. But with the idea of the Bulls trying to develop their young guys and give them experience, his role is just going to continue to dwindle to the point where he loses minutes. And so that's my key prediction for Torrey Craig. You know, hopefully he, if he do leave the Bulls, he'll find a team, you know, probably a veteran team, a playoff team, where he has a nice role on that team. But, yeah, for the Chicago Bulls, I don't see him having that type of role, you know, to finish the season. Now, my next bold prediction will be interesting. And speaking of Buzelis, I want to dive in on him. You know, Buzelis wins Rookie of the Year. Now, that might be, you know, a far fetch just because nobody has Buzelis starting for the Bulls. Nobody has him playing, you know, a super high amount of minutes behind Patrick Williams, Zach Levine, you know, guys like that. But the reason I put a bold prediction for Buzelis winning Rookie of the Year is that the, well, the NBA at overall, they didn't have a super strong draft class this year. I mean, the top guys in the draft didn't even look good in the summer league. And so I feel like as far as the top rookies, who could be a top rookie this year, I feel like, you know, the plate is wide open. You know, anybody can show off. You know, a lot of people are talking about Reed Shepard as being one of the top rookies just because he has such a great debut in summer league. But yeah, I don't see, I don't think that Buzelis is too far off. I feel like he's just as talented. He's one of the most talented players in the draft this past draft. I mean, he was projected to go top five before the season started. And even though he slipped, you know, it's a lot of avenues to where he could develop. You know, and he's going to be on a team that's going to play a lot of young guys. So when it comes to rookies and getting the accolades, it really comes to opportunity and what you can show. And if Buzelis can show a lot of his opportunity and be able to show he can shoot the ball, then, yeah, I can definitely see him winning rookie of the year. And that's even coming off the bench. And so he has to have, you know, a nice scoring average, of course. He has to have some highlights. And he just has to show a lot of things. But, yeah, even though it's far-fetched, it's not out of this realm that Buzelis can win rookie of the year. And so for my last bold prediction, it's probably going to be one of the boldest that I've done so far is that the Bulls will make the play-in this upcoming year. And this isn't crazy. It might sound crazy off back, but think about it this way. You know, the Bulls lost their closer and their best defensive player. But also, how were the Bulls in those situations when they didn't have those guys playing? I mean, it was a stretch where DeRozan was out. They took, you know, Milwaukee to the limit. You know, they played a lot of these teams and showed a lot of things with their young guys outside of DeRose and outside of Caruso. And I feel like, you know, with two, three years of being under their tutelage, 
I feel like these guys are ready to blossom. You know, Io, Kobe, you know, uh, Patrick. He could show something. People forget about Patrick. But you mix that with a lot of the guys that we brought in as far as the Josh Giddy. You never know what Lonzo can bring. You know, I feel like the Bulls, they're very talented. And they might be too talented for what the organization is trying to do. I mean, I put out in my video yesterday, Zach Levine might be here the whole season. I mean, if Zach, if Zach is here, you know, 25 point per game score, you know, you still got Vooch that can do some things. The Bulls might actually overachieve to the point where they might snatch that 10th that spot, you know, for the play-in. And that would be not ideal, but I definitely think, you know, it's possible. And the Chicago Bulls, what does the Chicago Bulls do? They always do what you don't want them to do. And so if you want them to win, they're going to lose. If you want them to lose, I'm pretty sure they're going to win more than how many you want them to lose. That's just the Chicago Bulls. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know how do you guys feel about these bold predictions. I know it's a little wild, but yeah, I'm just excited for the season and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to holler at you guys later and I'm out.